I don't buy wine in stores very often. Uh, um, in fact, the only the only thing that I consistently buy in the store is sparkling wine. My wife and I get this sparkling wine that is really relatively inexpensive. It's like seven bucks a bottle, and it's actually good. You know, and so that's the thing that we get in the store most often. Most of the wine I buy, I buy online, oh. and I and I'm I'm I buy esoteric kind of you know strange things that most people have probably never even heard of and I've either had wine like that before and I want to try a new producer or I've had that producer before and I know their wines are good or it's something I've never had before that I find intriguing and I'm like oh I got to try that you know it's just so I can say I've had it before I don't go to the wine shop very often at all I go into Harry and David and the only wines on Harry and David that I really haven't had and really you know would like to taste or way out of my budget, you know, I mean, honestly. You know, I mean, the, the, the 25 to $40 a bottle price range, I've had, yeah. you know, I haven't had all of them, but I've had a lot of them, you know, so when I go in to look for a bottle of wine or something, you know, the ones that I see that I think look interesting or the ones that have a reputation that I know that I haven't tasted, you know, they're all in the, you know, 90 to $200 a bottle range, I and mean, that's just, you know, I don't, I don't drink those wines, you know, very often.